Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 19, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal services, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So let's start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically hit the bottom here of this market. So we're right at the 50 moving average. And if this breaks, then, then we are looking at a much bigger fall to the downside. So technical indicators are fairly bearish still. The CCI is uh, underneath, underneath uh, minus 100. The stochastic is flat. The, C and the MACD is uh, bearish. And so is the RSI. So, But the 50 moving average looks like it is uh, holding. So if we rally from here, then we'll most likely find resistance at the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average right here. If we manage to rally above these moving averages, then we are looking back at the 93. But a break of the 50, that opens the door all the way down to these very lows. And that will be really bullish for most commodities, precious metals, and uh, also indices and stocks. So let's look at oil. So as you can see, we have uh, rallied and we have broken through this. Um, we have broken through this uh, square that we were trading in for the last three weeks and at the moment we're at the top of the bullish band and it looks like we are running into resistance here and uh, this is also getting exhausted and uh, it wouldn't be surprised if we have a little bit of a pullback towards the 61 62 uh, dollar range and uh, before we basically go higher if we break below the 50 moving average then we are going to retest these uh, previous lows again otherwise we are targeting the previous highs over here at the 67. Technical indicators, they are still fairly bullish. Um, there's a lot of room to the upside here in the RSI. We did break down significantly here. And uh, since then, we are basically found bottom also in the market. And it looks like now we're ready to go back towards the previous highs uh, towards uh, 67 and probably 70 in the next, next few months. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas has been fairly, um, has done a fairly surprising move the last uh, week and a half and to be said, to be said. So we found bottom down here at the 2.47 and uh, it was expected for this to break down significantly further as we're approaching the period of the year where demand for natural gas should be significantly lower, uh, but it has completely turned around. It has broken through the 20, the 200 moving average, and also the 50 moving average, and actually stopped above the 50 moving average. We're getting fairly overstretched here. Um, technical indicators are still very bullish, and there's a lot of room to the upside here in the RSI, but a pullback from here could be expected, and uh, we'll most likely find major support down here at the 200 moving average, also where the uh, where the 20 exponential moving average is at 2.6226. Uh, if you get another uh, green candlestick above here, then that is a very bullish shine as the 50 moving average will now act as support and not resistant. So let's look at copper. So copper has been uh, fascinating to trade uh, this week. So we basically broke out of uh, this uh, triangle which we were waiting for. So we have it right here. So we were we had this massive rally here, and then we basically broke out, broke down, and then we were basically trending into this corner. And usually what happens here is that you either break to the upside or you break to the downside. In this case, we basically broke to the upside. We went way past the bullish band, and on Friday we had a pullback, which also was fairly expected. So at this point, we could see this pullback go all the way down towards the 20 exponential moving average, right around uh, 4.0778 before continuing to the upside. If we break back down from here, then we could re retest the 50 moving average, and this will basically be a false breakout. But at this point, we this action here was most likely due to the um, overbought position that occurred on Thursday. So there's a lot of room to the upside. We're only at 57 here in the RSI. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. MACD has crossed the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. And the CCI is in bullish territory. So pullbacks at this point are expected to be bought into. And the next target will be these previous highs at 4.3399. So let's look at gold. 
So a lot of surprising moves uh, this week and gold and silver and uh, were one of them. So gold basically crushed the 50 moving average and is now trading well above the 50 moving average. At this point, it looks like we are going to head towards the 200 moving average here at 1856. So technically, guys are very bullish. There's a lot of room to the upside. We're getting fairly overstretched here. So a pullback towards the 50 moving average could be expected or just back towards the previous highs of a Thursday, which is at 7067 before continuing higher. If we break 1800, then we are most likely going to go towards um, the 200 moving average and beyond that. So yes, this has completely turned around. Um, and uh, but we can also say that we have tried this before. So we did have a breakout here above the 50. We did have a breakout here when we basically rallied significantly above the 50 moving average. Um, so we need to see this pullback and rally, pullback and rally before uh, concluding that this trend has basically been broken and that we are basically going to trend upwards from now. So let's look at silver. So silver also rallied up towards the 50 moving average and got really rejected here at the top of the bullish band and the 50 moving average. But still, it rallied from $23 all the way up towards the top here at $26.28. So technical indicators are fairly bullish. So MACD is still underneath uh, zero, so it's still in negative territory, but it is, it's above the signal line. So Castig is becoming flat above the signal line. CCI is in positive territory, bullish territory, and so is the RSI. So everything is pointing to higher levels. We could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential before going higher, but if the 50 breaks, then we're most likely going to target 27.5. So let's look at platinum. So platinum is doing the same thing as it has been doing for quite some time now. It has been rallying up towards the top of the bullish band, breaking down towards the bottom, and now it looks like we're going back towards the top. So we're kind of trending sideways at this point. So the highs kind of at the 1244 uh, and the lows, very lows here at 1117. That is kind of where we are. So we have basically been leveling off and now we're just trending fairly sideways, a little bit uh, to the upside, but still more sideways. Technical indicators, they are fairly bullish. MACD is crossing the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. The, MAC, uh, the CCI is approaching 100 and positive bullish territory. And uh, the RSI is at uh, 50, uh, 53 at this point and fairly flat. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium uh, continues to rally to the upside. We're getting really overstretched here and we're on the border of, border of being overbought. So technical indicators are still very bullish. So we did break out of uh, this uh, um, this triangle and broke to the upside. And at the moment, most likely the 2.7 um, area is going to be massive support. So if you break down from here, then 2.705 uh, will most likely be where bias will come back in and uh, buy this back to the upside so long-term target here will most likely be three um, this has been this basically broke out of this square um, which we have been trading in for months rally to the upside and now we broke again out of this uh, triangle and now we're heading towards a tree so we have also we have this area here which is the previous highs over here that we have to break through so you could take a while before we get head towards these previous levels but these moves here are very bullish and it looks like there's just going to be a continuation if we are going to break below the 20 exponential that will open the door to the 50 moving average and that is also the previous highs of this uh, of this square so let's look at aluminium So aluminium, uh, yes, yet again, rallied above the, uh, the top of the bullish band and then we basically broke it down again. So at this point, we're looking at the middle of the bullish band, which, which is going to be the target. This has been rallying to the upside, broken, broken down, rallied to the upside, broken down and so on, and has just been continuating in that same move. Technical indicators are all turning around and that is a clear sign that we are going to head, head south. So buying the dips has been uh, has been the strategy here. There's no real reason to basically sell this because this actually can 
you know, change direction um, in an instant. As we are in an uptrend, then basically pull back towards the 20 exponential. That is basically uh, probably the best strategy here. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is still just in the same area at its ha which it has been for basically since the beginning of March, so a month and a half. So highs here 16,800 and the very lows here around 15,800. So a $1,000 1, range here, which we are basically in between. So yes, until we basically break out of this, uh, then there is technically no um, reason to trade this whatsoever. So let's look at sugar. Yes, so sugar just continues to rally. Now we're getting uh, fairly overstretched. We were overstretched on Thursday, but now on Friday we even got even further above the 50 moving average, which is a really good sign uh, because this is clearly uh, a massive change from this uh, move to the downside. So this was basically the bottom. It completely changed here. And now the 50 moving average will most likely act as a support. So break down towards the 50 are probably going to be buying opportunities. We're most likely going to have the 20 and the 50 cross around this area here in the next, uh, in the next probably next week if this continues. Technically, the conditions are very bullish. We're on the edge of being overbought. So pullbacks at this point are expected, but uh, we are clearly changing this downtrend in, in favor of an uptrend. So let's look at Cottenham. So cotton has run into a major resistance here at the 50 moving average. We ran up towards it on Thursday and then we just broke down on Friday. At the moment, it looks like we're going to head towards the 20 exponential. If that breaks, then we could head all the way back to the very bottom here. Technical indicators are very, very bullish and now they are technically flat, indicating that we are most likely going to roll over from here and head back towards downside. If we break above the 50 moving average, then we could go and target that 0.9. But at this moment, it looks like the 50 moving average was actually the as far as this would basically go. So, so let's look at the cocoa. So also here we have rallied up towards the 50 moving average and have been rejected both on Thursday and also on Friday. And so at this moment, it looks like we are going to roll over and head back to these previous lows if the 20 exponential basically breaks in the middle of the bullish band. So we can head towards uh, around the 2.319 or the very bottom here at 2.310. If you break above the 50 moving average, we could head towards the 2.6. But at the moment, these are two massive rejections of the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are still bullish, but they are leveling off, indicating that we will most likely roll over from here and head back down. So let's look at wheat. So we hit the very bottom here at, uh, yeah, get it all the way back here. So uh, 593 or 593, that was basically as far as this went. And then since then, we basically have been rallying back towards the upside. We are above the 50 moving average, getting uh, fairly overstretched here. We could see this pull back towards the 50. We will have the 20 exponential moving this way, have a crossing of the 50 moving average, and that will be a massive bullish shine. So pullbacks towards the 50 moving average um, is most likely what's going to happen here. Technicals are very bullish at this point, but they are like the CCI leveling off. We're still in major uh, bullish territory. Um, then, but the CGI and the RSI are basically flat at this point in the current stage. And we got uh, way outside of the bullish band, so fairly overstretched and a pullback is kind of expected at this point. But we have clearly changed this downtrend. So we fell all the way down to the 200 moving average and then completely turned around. And at this point, pullbacks are seen as buying opportunities so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much